Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Abdur Rahman Turkman from Afghanistan. In today's video, I am going to show you 4 ways to transfer data from Android to iPhone. With these 4 methods, you can transfer every bit of your data from an Android phone to your iOS device. So make sure you watch this video till the very end as I will be explaining everything step by step. And if you find this video helpful by any means, then please share it with your friends. Sharing is always free guys, it doesn't cost you anything. So with that being said, let's get started. Our first method is using Zapier to transfer data from Android to iPhone. First of all, install Zapier on both of your devices. After the installation, open Zapier on your Android device. Next, click on this button to create a group. Once the group is created, all you have to do is join this group from your iPhone. To do that, open Zapier. Next, click on this red button. After that, switch to QR code and scan this QR code. Next, go to your phone settings, go to Wi-Fi and connect to Wi-Fi which is coming from this phone. In my case, this is the one. Type the password. Here's the password but you don't have to type the password manually. It's already copied on your phone's clipboard. All you have to do is paste it. Once the Wi-Fi is connected, now go back to Zapier and your both devices must be connected just like this. Once the devices are connected, now select the files that you want to transfer to your iPhone. So in my case, I'm going to transfer some photos. I'm just going to send one photo. You can select whatever photo you want. Okay, as you can see, the image is sent. In order to see the transfer files on your iPhone, just tap on history and here we'll have all your transfer data. All right, our second method is using move to iOS app to transfer data from Android to iPhone. So first of all, head over to Play Store on your Android device and install this app. The app is called move to iOS. Once you've done that, the next thing you have to do is erase your iPhone. Yes, you have to erase your iPhone in order to transfer new data from your Android phone. So I'm just going to do this. If you want to transfer data without erasing your iPhone, then you just need to skip to the next one. In case you want to transfer data using this method, just follow my steps. So first of all, head over to your settings, general, reset. Basically, we are erasing this iPhone. So I'm just going to erase this iPhone, it will take time, so I'm just going to fast forward the video. Okay, when you are on the stage, all you need to do is select the second last option, which is move data from Android, just tap on it. Next, click on continue. Now all you have to do is put this code inside move to iOS app. So on your Android, open this app. And now type this code over here 258203. Next, tap on continue. Tap on connect. Once the connection is established successfully, now select the type of files that you want to transfer. As you can see, with this app, you can transfer your Google accounts your messages, your contacts, and your camera roll. So in my case, I'm going to select only contacts because if I select the camera roll, as you can see, it's 150 GB. It will take a lot of time. So I'm just gonna select contacts just to save time. You can select whichever option you want. After that, click on continue and it will transfer the data. Once the transferring process is completed, you should have your data on your iPhone. Our third method is using a third party software. With this method, you can transfer every single data from your Android phone to your iPhone or iPhone to Android. And the software I'm going to use is called Dr. Phone Phone Transfer. 
you can get the software from the link given in the video description below this software is also available for mac users so just go ahead download and install the software link will be given right in the video description below after installing the software just open it up to be honest with you guys this software is one of my favorite software when it comes to smartphone management because this software gives you a lot of options to make your life easier like with the software you can recover your deleted files from your iphone or android you can transfer data between your phone and computer you can also transfer whatsapp messages from android to iphone or iphone to android and one of my favorite feature of the software is mirror go with this option you can share your phone screen with your computer in order to transfer files from one phone to another just click on phone transfer option next connect both your phones to your computer once the phones are connected just give the software a moment to load data from your devices as you can see on the left side you will have source phone now this is the phone that will transfer the data and the target phone will receive the data so in my case i'm going to transfer data from my android phone to my iphone so i'm just going to click on flip and it's going to change the order this software gives you options to transfer contacts messages photos music videos etc now all you have to do is select the type of files that you want to transfer so in my case i am going to transfer only contacts because it will take less time you can select whichever option you want and it will take time depending on your data so i'm just gonna select contacts just to save time as you click on start transfer the transferring process will begin now this process will take time depending on how much data you are transferring. In my case, this process should take less time because uh, I only selected contacts. In your case, the situation may be different. Okay, once the process is finished, you should have all your files transferred to your new iPhone. Before we move on to the next step, let me tell you that this software is not free. You have to purchase it. Our fourth and last method is using this guy to transfer data from one phone to another. Basically, this is a wireless pen drive by SanDisk. With this pen drive, you can transfer data between three devices at the same time wirelessly. You can get yours from the link given in the video description below. This pen drive is also available in different sizes. So now let me show you how you can transfer data using this device. Before you start using this device, make sure it's fully charged. You can charge this device with your computer or with your phone charger. Once it's fully charged, just turn it on by pressing and holding this power button. When you see this white LED blinking, that means this device is turned on. The next thing you have to do is download the associated app on both of your devices. To do that, just head over to Play Store on your Android phone. And download this app. The app is called SanDisk Connect Drive. So make sure this app is downloaded on both of your devices. Once that's done, the next thing you have to do is connect both devices to Wi-Fi which is coming from this device. To do that, just head over to your phone settings, go to Wi-Fi. Here you will see a Wi-Fi name by the name of Sandisk Connect. Just connect to it. Once both of your devices are connected, the next thing you have to do is open the app that you just downloaded. In order to transfer files from your Android to iPhone, just tap on this plus sign on your Android phone. After that, select the type of files that you want to transfer. So in my case, I am going to transfer only photos. So let me select some photos. Once you're done with your selection, just tap on this red button. You can either upload those photos to this pen drive's main folder or you can create a new one so in my case i am going to create a new folder and upload my photos inside this folder okay now my pictures are uploaded once the files are uploaded to this pen drive now all you have to do is download those files on your iphone to do that just find the folder if you are not seeing your new folder just Close the app and reopen it. After that, you should see your created folder. Alright, now in order to download these files, just tap on select and select all. Next, tap on this 
share button and save it to your iPhone's camera roll or whatever option you choose from here. So in my case, I'm going to save those pictures to my iPhone's camera roll. Once that's done, then you should have your photos transferred to your iPhone's photos folder. So let's see. As you can see, these are the photos that I transferred from my Android phone. You can also transfer data from your iPhone to your Android with the same method. So there you have it guys. That was my four ways to transfer data from Android to iPhone. Please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. And I will catch you on the next one. Stay blessed, stay safe. Peace.